Are you interested in joining the Mormon Church? Are you curious about it? Maybe you're taking or have taken the missionary lessons. Perhaps you even think that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is a good Christian church that is family-oriented and filled with godly people. If so, there are some things you need to know before you sign up on the dotted line. Now, Mormonism is considered a non-Christian cult by all of Christianity. All you need to do is go to any Christian bookstore and look in the cult section and you will see books on Mormonism there. Now, are we anti-Mormons who have a grudge against the LDS Church? Well, I can't speak for all who oppose Mormonism, but I have no grudge against it at all. I was never a Mormon and no Mormon ever injured me in the past. You know, they're nice people. The problem isn't with them, it's with what they teach. It simply isn't Christian. Mormon missionaries will tell you that there was an apostasy and that Joseph Smith was the one who restored the true gospel to this earth. This is a typical claim by every cult. Every one of them says that the present Christian church is false and that their initial leader restored the truth. They have to invalidate present Christianity in order to get you to accept their brand of it. Now, Christianity teaches that there's only one God. Mormonism teaches that there are many gods. Christianity teaches you cannot become a god. Mormonism, on the other hand, says you can. In fact, Mormonism teaches that God used to be a man on another planet who became a god and brought one of his wives with him to this world. In case you doubt this, check out the documentation on the Karm the website. It's there. Now, like all non-Christian cults, Mormonism uses the Bible to support its doctrine and does so improperly. For example, when the Bible says that there is no other God besides God in Isaiah 43, 10, 44, 6, and 44, 8, Mormons quickly add, of this world. That means that there really are other gods and that the Bible is taking, talking only about one God of this world and not about whether or not there are other gods anywhere. They often quote, for example, 1 Corinthians 8, verses 5 through 6, which mentions the existence of other gods. But when doing this, they fail to read exactly what it says, that there are so-called gods. In other words, they are called gods, but really are not gods. Paul was speaking about false gods, not the true and living God. Now, Mormons frequently misrepresent scripture and take verses out of context to make it say what they want. Those who do not know what the Bible really teaches will easily be fooled by this non-Christian cult. Now, why is this important? Is it really that important to believe this specifically about God? Well, yes it is. You see, eternal salvation is at stake. God warned us not to serve false gods in Exodus 20. And they are, by nature, according to Galatians 4.8, not really gods. See, God warned us to believe in the true Christ and warned us not to believe in false Christ. That's Matthew 24.24. 24. Now, the God of Mormonism is definitely false and cannot save you or anyone. If you believe in a false God, you'll be damned to eternal hell. Why? Well, because ultimately, false gods do not exist except in the mind of the ones who believe in them. In spite of being good, in spite of attending the Mormon church with all its polished appearance, in spite of believing in the Mormon doctrine of a man from another planet, you'll go to hell if you believe in the Mormon doctrine. It cannot save you from the righteous requirements that God requires. Only the true Jesus can save you from your sins, not a God from another planet. Only the true God, who alone is God in all the universe, can save you. Now, do you want to trust Mormon doctrine? Now, the following is a list of a few doctrines of Mormonism. Now, do you want to put your eternal trust in a church that teaches the following doctrines? It teaches that the true gospel was lost from the earth and that Mormonism is its restoration. It says there are many, many gods. In fact, it says there is a mother goddess. It also said God used to be a man on another planet. Now, after you become a good Mormon in Mormonism, you have the potential of becoming a god of your own world and starting the process of becoming gods on their planet for their people. Now, if you want further information, information that Mormons won't tell you until you're very well entrenched in their cult, then read more from this site. It is full of information about why Mormonism is nothing more than a clever, false look-alike that cannot help you before God. But please understand, we're not trying to be mean. 
We're not trying to be angry. We're trying to be honest and we're concerned about you because we don't want you to believe in the false Christ, the false prophets, and the false gods that the Bible so clearly warns us about. So please, check out Mormonism and check out what the Bible really says. Thanks.